Today, we have an intriguing topic that connects the Old and New Testaments, resurrection and the return of Christ. We'll be diving into Daniel 12, 1 through 4, Isaiah 26, 19, and John 5, 28 and 29. So grab your Bible and let's get started. Let's begin with Daniel 12, 1 through 4, where the prophet Daniel provides a glimpse of future events. In verse 2, we read about the resurrection. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Now let's turn to Isaiah 26, 19, which beautifully complements Daniel's prophecy. It says, Your dead shall live, their bodies shall rise. You who dwell in the dust, awake and sing for joy. For your dew is a dew of light, and the earth will give birth to the dead. Our journey continues in the New Testament with John 5, 28 and 29, where Jesus himself speaks of resurrection and judgment. Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. These verses point to a profound and universal truth. There will be a day when all the dead will be raised and they will face judgment. Some will rise to eternal life, while others to eternal judgment. Now let's connect these verses to the return of Christ. Daniel 12. One speaks of a time of trouble like never before, but it also mentions the deliverance of those whose names are written in the book. This hints at the glorious return of Jesus Christ our Saviour and King. The return of Christ is described vividly in the book of Revelation with imagery similar to Daniel's prophecy. Revelation 1 7 says, Behold, He is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see Him, even those who pierced Him, and all tribes of the earth will wail on account of Him. So what's the significance of all this? It's a reminder of our hope as Christians, we eagerly await the return of Christ, knowing that He will raise the dead and judge the living and the dead. For those who trust in Him, it's a day of everlasting life, joy, and reunion with loved ones who have passed away in faith. In conclusion, the connection between Daniel 12, 1 through 4, Isaiah 26 and 19, and John 5, 28 and 29 reminds us of the resurrection, the return of Christ, and the ultimate hope we have in Him. As we continue to explore the Bible's profound truths, may we be encouraged to live in readiness for that glorious day when our Savior returns. Before we go, let's reflect on 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17. For the Lord Himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Let's pray for the grace to eagerly anticipate Christ's return and to live faithfully until that day. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more biblical insights.